And welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today I thought I'd have another look at the debate over which is better, Capture One or Lightroom. Uh, especially with the Fujifilm RAW files. So I've got some X-T3 RAW files. I've got Capture One. Mind you, it is only the free version, but for our purposes it will be fine. Uh, and I've got Lightroom. I've got some images. We'll take them into the computer, have a look, and make some decisions. Now, these are my own opinions. Uh, this is from my testing, my use of both programs. Um, I would suggest that you download trial versions of the software and have a look yourself. Uh, but this is my opinion, and we'll have a look. Let's get to the computer. We've got uh, Lightroom running on the left and Capture One running on the right. Uh, this is Capture One, the Fujifilm free version. Um, but we're only going to have a look at how it handles the raw files. We've, on Lightroom, we've got the sharpening, radius, detail, masking and luminosity luminous noise reduction or set at default settings when you import the image and on capture one again we've got all of them set to their defaults um, so this is how you would import it it would look when you import it into the actual program and straight off the bat when you look at them uh, on the screen Lightroom looks a lot sharper than Capture One. But what everyone's on about is when we zoom in one to one, if we go onto this rock, you can see the rock looks a bit artificial with these swirly, swirly uh, artifacts in it. And if we scroll in, go in one to one on Capture One, we don't have those same whirly whirly artifacts, but I think you can probably see that Capture One's not as sharp. And through lots of testing and checking, it's down to how Capture One adds the amount of sharpening and noise reduction as compared to Lightroom more than anything else. So with Lightroom, we've got it's showing no noise reduction, there probably is a tiny amount, but we've got the 40 on here, it doesn't relate anything to on Capture One. But if I take the sharpening down to zero, obviously we lose the sharpness, and this now looks sharper. But we take the sharpening down to zero on here, and now they look basically the same. I think luminance noise reduction on Capture One at 50 is zero on. Lightroom because if you take that down it's a little bit more woodier but if we leave that at zero so we've got zero sharpening zero luminance zero sharpening zero luminance and for makes and purposes they look pretty much identical so if we increase sharpening to standard on Lightroom and then we bring up the sharpening to match it so the image looks roughly the same sharpness if we get this to look pretty much the same I would say sharpness wise they look pretty much the same if you look we're starting to get that wormy effect. Probably not quite as pronounced as Lightroom. I'll bring that down. But that could still be to do with the radius and the detail. But you can definitely see we're starting to get that same effect on here. And that's with the noise reduction at zero. Put the noise reduction up. It doesn't actually make any difference. So it's all down to sharpening. Certainly not noise reduction. So we'll leave the noise reductions at zero. 
we can see it. If you push it too far on capture one, obviously it really does start to stand there. Same with Lightroom. Though I must admit there is more with Lightroom than there is with Capture One, but it is still there. But one trick that Lightroom can do is if you do the enhanced details version, which is this one, I'll bring this down to it looks pretty similar. I would say that Lightroom is now better. Can I actually increase that sharpening quite a bit? We'll get none of the artifacts that we push. Capture one, we start getting back. So in the enhanced detail one, it definitely is better. Let's have a look at another one. A raw file here. So this is a raw file, and you can see I'll put back to there what it should be. See that capture one, you can't see these little artifacts as much, but it isn't as sharp. Take the luminance noise reduction down to zero. We start to see them a little bit more. So if we push, and let's first off, let's bring Lightroom down, bring them both down to zero. And at that point, I think they are pretty much the same. We take Lightroom up to its standard setting and bring Capture one up to match it in sharpness, which I would say is somewhere around there. Again, it looks pretty much the same again. We've still got the artifacts, they're not quite as wormy fried, but they are quite noticeable. Uh, let's take noise reduction up, and yes, we lose. We get rid of them, but now we've lost the sharpness. We're going to have to bring this up more. Uh, it just falls apart. I'm leaving that there. But we use enhanced ones from in Lightroom. We go to normal setting. We've enhanced the noise, but we can take the noise down. Bring that sharpening up, and we're getting pretty much the same. So, in one more look, I'm going to this one. Right, this is normal settings for Lightroom, normal settings for Capture One. And as we see, we're not as sharp. Bring the sharpness up to match it. It'll be about there. Luminous down to zero to match zero on here, and yeah, so if we bring the luminous on that one and on Lightroom, you can enough match the effect. Uh, I've got the enhanced one here, base settings again, and we'll do the enhanced one here, and we'll do base settings on here, so go down to the base settings again. Well, the base settings, a little bit more noise reduction on here, bring up the sharpness to match Lightroom, probably about there, I think Lightroom does a better deal. Let me go back to the rough ones. So I think where people are saying, well, as soon as you import the image into Capture One, it's a better looking image, it's not doing anything different to demosaic in the raw file and reading that raw file, it's just the way it's adding sharpening and noise reduction. Um, it's not adding as much sharpening, and it's adding some noise reduction right at the start, whereas Lightroom's adding a lot of sharpening and very little noise reduction. So if we change everything, this is how they're imported, and at normal percentage, if you can look and capture one not as sharp and that's because Lightroom's adding this extra sharpening. If I bring the sharpening down I would say Lightroom Zero is Capture One's starting point. And I think this is what the main difference is. Put these back to what they should be. Lightroom is sharper straight off the bat. Put it down to zero and it matches. 
So wherever capture on starting, Lightroom's already added some to it. I think this is the main main reason. Bring that down to zero. It now matches Capture One. Capture One is a very good program and it does some things better than Lightroom. And Lightroom does some things better than Capture One. I don't think it's actually reading the raw files any different. It's just how it's adding the light, sharpening, and luminous. All right, that's the uh, look at the images on the computer. And as you can see, on it initially importing into Capture One and Lightroom, Capture One does look better, but it is not as sharp as the Lightroom files. That's because Lightroom is adding that extra sharpness, whereas Capture One is keeping the sharpness down and adding noise reduction on it. Uh, you even them out and they look roughly the same. Uh, but I think with Lightroom having the enhanced details that you can do, uh, all right, it creates another DNG. The actual quality of that image is a lot better than the standard RAW file. And once you edit that in Lightroom, I think you're basically on par with Capture One. Uh, so for me personally, I don't think there's any advantage for the raw conversion from Capture One versus Lightroom, even though Capture One does some things better than Lightroom and Lightroom does some things better than Capture One. I think whatever software you're using to get the final image you're happy with is the software you should be using. So whether that's Lightroom, Capture One, On One, or Luminar, or anything like that, if you're happy with that software, I don't see any reason to chop and change. Yes, download a trial and, and see if there's things in there that will benefit you. But other than that, I think there's not much in them at all. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later.